Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing video. So today I'm going to be doing Iron Man. <clears throat> so close up on his face, the helmet, and just some of his shoulders down here. So we're going to start with his eyes. So that kind of visor that uh, sort of we see his eyes through goes across that middle of the mask. So what we'll do is we're going to do a line just here, a diagonal for the edge of it, just there. And then another one over this side, just there. And then this is going to curve down along. They're going to curve down along and touch. Like that. Now, so we're going to uh, bring this down Go the whole way around. So we're going to curve this down around his eyes. So down like so. And then this is going to come up diagonally and then across the middle of his nose where his nose is under the mask. So this comes across like this. And then we'll go diagonal this way and we'll bring this one across up under his eye. Like so. Now, so we're going to double up some of those lines just to make them look sort of metal and that they go back a bit. So we'll go in here and then we'll bring this down around. Like that. And then we'll go up diagonally and then we'll give this an edge just there. And then we'll bring this bit across. And then we'll give that an edge and then this will come down and then give it an edge just there in the corner and I forgot the one over here actually just there and so then this is going to come up around under his eye up to there and then into the corner like that and then we will bring up this one just there and up on this side too and then we're going to join those together up underneath that first line we drew it's coming all around Like this, and then in there we have that shiny, those shiny eyes that he has. So we'll do a box like eye just coming up and then back up in there. And then the same on this side. So a box like eye coming up to there. Now, so then. His helmet then he has the gold and red part so we'll deal with the gold part first and then we'll do the red part so the gold part will go diagonal this way and it's the same on both sides so we'll do the right side first so we'll go diagonal up and then we'll bring it across a bit like this and then this comes up all the way nearly to the top of his head like this and then we're going to bring this across this way towards the other side so it's going to go up diagonal up this way and then we're going to bring it back down
to about here. Now this just has an edge to it as well on this side. So we're gonna go from here, bring this down, slightly curving down to this corner of the eye. Down to there. And then we're gonna bring this across so the middle now will go across, curving over here. And then we'll bring this up. Pretty much the same as we did on this side. It's about there. And then this comes across then towards the other side of his head. Trying to get it the same as the other side. And then this is gonna come down towards this side down here. And then like this side, we'll bring it out and diagonal down in. And then this line comes up to this corner as well. Like so. Now, so there's just an inner part just up here on this, just like an edge to it. And then an edge to this side too, just comes down in there. Just kind of make it, try and make it look sort of 3D. So the rest of his gold visor comes down the front of his face, right? So he has a jaw section. So coming down from here, one. And then we have another one on this side. And these are gonna come down the middle towards his mouth. So we'll go this way first. just down underneath his eye. And then we're gonna bring it in towards where the mouth would be, down here. Then we can do the same over here. So we'll bring it down just to underneath his eye and then it comes in towards the mouth. And then we'll draw that line across the top of the mouth. Now, so there's two other sections underneath that. So we'll do a diagonal line here, same on that side. And then these come up to the side of his jaw. So we'll bring this up all the way to the side of his jaw. And then the same here. Uh, then he has the chin plate. So there's like a golden chin plate just underneath that. So we'll do the line for his mouth just here. So we have a gap. And then we have another line like this. And then this comes down 
both sides like that and then we'll bring this diagonal up both sides as well and we're kind of making it look like a W shape and then we'll just give this an edge make it look kind of 3D box it off And then we'll bring this around the bottom of his chin then. So we go down here, down here. And then this one will curve down to here. This one curves down as well. And then we'll start to go across. So we'll come across here. And then there's a line that joins that. Same on this side. And a line that joins this. If I go too fast, just pause the video, guys. Slow it down. We're going to bring this across now towards the middle. And then we'll do that little box that's in the middle of his chin. Just here. Now, so there's just a little black gap between the golden part and the red part of his jaw. So we'll draw that in first. So it's just coming up from here, just a thin sort of dark black section just between the red and gold. And it comes all the way back across his mouth and then up the other side too. right up to here and then of course all in there we'll color in dark Right, so we'll do uh, his jaw plate now. So, so we'll do the bottom of his chin first, easier to start with, I guess. So we'll just do a curve line that comes across this chin here. Like this, two lines that join it to the golden plate. And then there's the very bottom of his chin along here, straight across. Joining those together, and then we're going to go up this direction. So we'll go diagonal up this side, and then this will come up to the side of his face. So just underneath, about here. So we have the start of the jaw plate just about here. So a little box line there, and then this comes down. And then this just has a little rim just on the edge like that. We can do something similar on the other side. So we'll bring our jaw up first. And then this goes up the other side. into there and this side is a bit longer actually as well on the other side and the jaw plate just across from that one 
bring it across and then just bring it down to that edge and then give it the similar line to make it look sort of sticking out like a metal plate just like that Right, so his head then, so coming up from the golden part, so we're gonna bring his head up from here, from this corner of the eye. It's gonna start traveling up and around. Like so, same on the other side. this and then it'll start to go around up and around on both sides so gradually going up and then we're going to bring it across Like that. And then there's just a couple of lines just up here and on the sides of his head. So we'll do one here, one going this way, one in the middle, Same on the other side, one there, one going up to the corner, one in the middle. And then there's a box-like line just across the center here. So we'll do bring it across like that. And then we'll do a little diagonal line in both sides and this will come down to the corner. And then we'll just close this off with a straight line across. Right, so then he has some lines just here on this side, so one like this on the red side of his plate, and then one just here as well, like that. And then he has those round circular ears so coming down the side of his face, around to there. And then one on the other side too but the same height. Okay, so now we can do some of his shoulder armor and neck armor. So just coming up from his shoulder here, we're gonna have one of those boxes that sits on his shoulder in this version of Iron Man anyway. So one there, and then this comes down. 
diagonal just goes off my page there. And then we have the next part just here, another little rectangle like so. And this will come down. And then the other side will go across this way. Just all the way down and off my page there. And then this armor will continue down. So we're gonna go down, curving around that neck part just here. And then we have a piece of this that sticks up here and goes down this direction and just off my page there and now it's going to come across his chest so down here down off my page we have another little gap just in there bring this down bring it across and then there's another little line just comes down a bit further there and then comes down that way All right so we can come over and do this on this side So we'll do this sort of rectangle on this side of his face as well. So we bring it up, we'll bring it diagonal down, try and keep them on the same level as each other on both sides. And then this will come back in and then this curves down. Now this box will come down and off the page. And then another one over here. And then here too. And now we're gonna bring this curve line down as well. So curving. All the way just down and then diagonal a bit down here there's this other piece of armor here so it just comes down this way and goes off my page <clears throat> and then we have some of his neck armor inside so we do a line coming down for the side of his neck Another line on this side, and then we'll bring this down across. Bringing it down under his chin. Curving now down here, there's a bit of a dip. And then this is gonna go up and around. And around just to his neck, just here. And then this continues down under this armor, and this will continue under that armor as well. Now we'll just double up some of these lines to give them an edge. Just following it, just to give it a bit of 3D kind of texture look to it. Same here. And here. Just doubling up these lines. And 
then some here too. And then there's just some bolts on this metal section just here. So kind of just hexagonal sort of bolts with a circle inside. You just see two of them on this side anyway. And then there's this section over here too. And then it has some bolts in there too. And yeah. So that's it, that's the basic idea, how to draw Iron Man. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.